Hi everyone, uh, so my name is Lodu Monkala. I'm a young man of 20 years old um, and I'm the founder of Community Lofts. Now, Community Lofts, we're an organization introducing the sport of pigeon racing to the South African townships. Um, and, you know, I'm a young pigeon breeder who faced a lot of challenges when attempting to enter into the sport um, as a young boy. I first got involved in pigeons just, you know, catching the wild pigeons around. And as I got into the more professional side of the sport, I got to realize that there was a big lack of youth and more so there was a lack of, um, you know, efforts to be done to, to bring in the youth. So that's when I then started Community Lofts. Now, today we are in Oliven Hot Bosch in Centurion. Um, this is a township just of the N14. And we are here at the Township Pigeon Expo, which is an event that was actually started um, by us at Community Lofts because we wanted to find out how can we really expose people um, within the townships to, to the sport of pigeon racing. And that's when we then established the Township Pigeon Expo. Um, this is our first event. We, you know, have taken the leap to actually start something like this in a public area. It's a free event, anyone is welcome. Um, and we have various racing pigeons on display. We also have a few pigeons that we're going to be liberating. So we really want to expose what the sport has to offer and uh, we'll then have our own community loss registration stand here where all the interesting parties, interested parties in joining Pigeon Sport have all been registering here. All the young kids who are here um, are really, you know, registering, putting their names down so that we get to have a record and database of, you know, how many fanciers we can actually pull out. But as for Community Lofts and myself, we have really tried to do everything to get young people involved into the sport. And the reason I focused my efforts um, and really everything I have into, you know, the townships is because you find a lot of young kids who already have pigeons here, um, who already have pigeon lofts. I mean, we are now starting off in Olive and Haute Bosch because at the moment it's our strongest area. We have about 20 members who we found with pigeon lofts already and they would have had wild pigeons in or they would have had pigeons that they caught from you know different parks and schools um, and, and really that's how we all start. So that is Community Lofts, that is the Township Pigeon Expo um, and this is an event that we actually would like to take beyond here. So Olive and Oldbush is our starting point but there are various townships who are still interested. Tembisa, Soweto, Orange Farm, and various industries, um, uh, townships where, where there is interest. So this is a model that we have created which can be replicated in, in different places to provide the same exposure nationwide um, because we really want to tap into all areas and people from all walks of life, you know, anywhere they are. That is Community Lofts, that's the work that we are doing. And I would just like to say that the South African Masters One Loft Race has really supported our organization in a way that um, many um, other, other people wouldn't or other organizations wouldn't. And I'd like to say a big thank you to Mr. Russell van der Merwe, who really has put his all into supporting us and supporting the overall growth of pigeon racing in South Africa. And more importantly, for believing in me as an individual, because I went to him with you know, an idea and he had faith in me and he really um, would, would really, you know, was keen to be involved in what we are doing because he is someone who is extremely passionate all around growth of the sport. He's the owner at Cyril's Pigeon and Pet and the South African Masters One Loft Race and the support that we have received is inspiring and hopeful and we're able to produce such events like this and we'll be able to do so in the future. And to all Pigeon fanciers who have really been involved with putting this together and assisting us, I would like to say a thank you. And to all fanciers who really have helped me in any way in our organization, what you have done, the piece that you have put in and helped us has been able to allow us to create what we have created today and create what we still will be creating in the future. We have a lot of exciting news and exciting plans that are still to come up um, because we're fully dedicated to growing Pigeon Racing in South Africa once and for all. So thank you very much and do find us at Community Lofts on our website at www.communitylofts.com and our 
exhibition website is www.clpigeonexpo.co.za as well as our social media at Township Pigeon Expo. So quite easy to find us. You can find us anywhere. You can see all our content there and you can learn more updates. Um, those who are very interested to be involved, whether you'd like to attend, whether you'd like to volunteer, or whether you'd like to just be involved and, and, and visit us in any way. Um, and I would like to say a big thank you to Pigeon Deva News for what they've done in the sport in terms of this coverage because the quality of videos that they produce um, and all the work that us fences have really enjoyed over these last, uh, this past year, I would say has been immaculate. Um, you know, we've, we, we are really grateful to them for exposing our sport um, to the global uh, pigeon racing community in a way that, you know, many many companies and organizations just cannot do. So thank you to Pigeon Devon News especially for being here today, for supporting us as well, and for allowing us the opportunity to work together. Because Pigeon Racing really needs collaboration now at its most, um, and I'm extremely grateful. And it definitely will not be the last time that we will be engaging together and working together. Um, and, and thank you for, for all the hard work that you do to shape our sport in a new light. It really is inspiring. Thank you.